it, view it, curl it, jump and lock it, surf it, scroll it, pose it, click it, cross it, crack it, twitch, update it, name it, read it, tune it, print it, scan it, send it, fax, rename it, touch it, bring it, pay it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop, format it. Hey guys, everything Apple Pro here, and as many of you guys know, the new iPhone 5 now features a nano SIM card, and what does this mean for regular iPhone 4S or 4, or even older iPhone users if they want to upgrade? That means you have to go and buy a new SIM card, or if you want to unlock your iPhone, you're going to have to get a new SIM card entirely. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut down your micro SIM or regular SIM card to fit in an iPhone 5. We're going to trim it down to a nano SIM card size very easily. You don't have to worry about what anyone says. It is completely possible. I mean, I'm running T-Mobile right now on my iPhone 5, I trimmed down my own SIM card and it worked perfectly. Now this is actually very easy and safe to do just as long as you guys do follow directions and you guys will need several things for this tutorial. Of course you guys will need to print out the piece of paper that we are going to be using to cut our SIM card with. It's basically the schematics, you're going to put your SIM card on it, tape it down and then we're going to cut it from there. So you need to print a piece of paper. There will be a link down below in the description. You'll find a link to this PDF where you can print this piece of paper and you want to make sure it is in A4 8.5 by 11 format. So once you you do have that printed, set it aside. You guys will need a blade of some sort to cut. I'm using an X-Acto blade. You can use scissors or a knife. Here's a Sharpie that I'm going to be using, either a Sharpie or a pen of some sort. And you guys will need a ruler so we can draw the lines and tape to secure the SIM card. So once you guys have all of that, let's go ahead and begin. Now I did want to say that this sheet of paper actually allows you to cut your SIM card either into a nano SIM or into a micro SIM or a micro SIM into a nano SIM. So whatever you guys want, this sheet supports it. Now depending on which size SIM card you are cutting, make sure to center it with the contacts facing up in that little diagram and go ahead and take a piece of tape and cover the SIM card. Make sure again that it is centered in there and go ahead and tape it on. Now is where you're going to grab your ruler, go ahead and line it up with the lines and you want to take your pen or sharpie, whichever you're using, and go ahead and trace the line. There you go, it should look just like that. And go ahead and do that for all lines. Now once you have them all traced out, go ahead and get your cutting blade. If you're using scissors, it'd be a lot easier. However, I'm using an X-Acto blade and I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting out all of these areas that we highlighted. I actually just like pressing down with force. This isn't really something you can cut with a cutting motion. So you just kind of just force it out. And once you basically get the SIM card cut out, go ahead and remove it. And you guys might notice that it doesn't fit into the SIM card tray at first. And you guys might need to go ahead and trim some off the edges here. I actually left some plastic right here that I'm gonna go ahead and trim off. And there you go, my nano SIM card fits perfectly in the nano SIM card tray without any kind of play, sits very nicely. And your edges may be jagged, so you can use a bit of sandpaper to smooth them out. I never found that necessary. Also, you guys may have heard that the new nano SIM card is 15% thinner than old SIM cards, but you don't need to worry about that. It still fits perfectly in the iPhone 5 without ever getting stuck. And just to show you guys, it does fit perfectly in my iPhone 5. No issues inserting it or removing it whatsoever. I've already done several of these and it's worked perfectly every single time. So there you go guys, that's how to make a nano SIM card from your current micro SIM or regular size SIM card using nothing but a piece of paper and a few tools. So I do hope this video helped you guys make a nano SIM, maybe even save a few dollars in the process. So I would appreciate it if you liked and favorited this video as it would help me in return. Also leave a comment if you guys have any questions or comments about this video, I would like to see them and subscribe as there's going to be many more iOS 6 and iPhone 5 videos coming very soon. Now have a great day guys, enjoy your nano SIM card, peace. It, view it, curl it, jump and lock it, surf it, scroll it, pose it, click it, cross it, crack it, twitch, update it, name it, read it, tune it, print it, scan it, send it, fax, rename it, touch it, bring it, pay it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop, format it.